beautiful noises. Uh, this is gonna be a great video over little Famiclone, aka Family Boy, 4X something, I don't know. My box just says Family Boy on it. Uh, it comes with seven games that were obviously hacked a little bit to avoid bosses or some shit. And the problem is because I didn't grow up with a little Nintendo Entertainment System, aka Famicom, aka Awesome. I have no idea what a lot of these games are. Well, you know, football is obviously a soccer game. Tiny Toon, it blows my fucking mind. Bicycle Race, it's boring. Well, Dragon is obviously a clone of Snake, I know that. Edo, oh yes, it is Clue Clue Land. I love Clue Clue Land. Gold Digger, I don't know. Live in Action, I don't know. Uh, I will start with the Snake clone. Listen to that crazy music. Uh, easy mode. Because the controller that comes with this is very strange. And the uh, directional pad is completely fucked up. It's trying to like be on a joystick, analog stick thing, but it doesn't really work very well. There is three B buttons and three A buttons, as well as select and start, and it glows. The little LED. The actual console glows as well. Now, one of these B's and A's are turbo buttons. I think it's these two, but I can't remember. It might be the shoulder buttons. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that is some beautiful music. I like the dragon, though. Ah. This d-pad makes it pretty much impossible to control. Uh. Uh. Yeah, that got boring really quickly. Game over. I'm gonna restart. Uh, let's see what else we can play. We can readjust this damn camera. Whatever. Uh, let's play Gold Digger. Crazy Gold Digger, it says on the tile screen. Uh, the A adjusts and just The A button adjusts the level, so does B. Okay. I'm not really sure what this is a clone of. Uh, it's got like some Kirby thing with the brain kicks. And it's very hard to climb up these ladders because of how bad this control pad is. And I can't put a old NES controller in it. It's just it's not adaptable. Oh shit, I fell down. I could put a Genesis controller in it, but it doesn't work even though it fits perfectly in there. Oh shit. There's like these weird skull things kind of kick my ass or something. I don't know. Oh. I turned into a sushi or some shit and was flopping around. That was cool. Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> Whatever this game is, I am not good at it. Fuck here. I now have a sword on my little Kirby brain thing. Oh. Well, this is getting boring. It's... Switch it off. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Uh... I'll play some uh, Lido, a.k.a. Kuku Land, a little bit. The rest aren't really worth playing. Except in the Tiny Toon game, I really want to play that because it just blows my mind and I don't understand what the fuck is going on. It's just Clue Clue Land with new sprites. And I can attack him, that's cool. 
Okay, that is the turbo button. That's pretty crappy. A little house or something. A little flippy fish guy. Yep. Let's so restart again and we will play the uh, Tiny Toon game. I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be Tiny Toons. I have no idea because I never played the uh, any Tiny Toons NES games. Uh, let me show you what it says on the instruction manual for this Tiny Toon game. It's pretty great. The first plush left or right can select the level 1 through 4, then press start, enter into the game. The Tiny Toon can kill or dodge all the enemy. Go ahead. Let the state of the road. The Tiny Toon do not die. Then pass the round in the screen display area in and let's go. When Tiny Toon collection the fruit, we'll get the point. The biggest round is 16 times. The Tiny Toon have 3 times. When all the Tiny Toon tune end up, the game will be over also. Yeah. Whatever. Let's go. Yeah, it looks like some orange mutant rabbit. And there's skulls trying to attack my little rabbit guy. Oh, fruit showed up. And something fell from the tree. And there's like some... Oh. I died because I touched that weird mirror thing. Hello. Damn skulls, I'm not even going to bother with this fruit. I just want to survive. I kind of want to get to the end of the level. Fucking. God damn it. Now the skulls are jumping. What jerks. Oh, well, you know what? I can jump too. Now, now here comes the weird angry owl things that will throw down feathers at you and turn you black. Let's see if I can get him to do it for me. Yeah, now I'm black for a split second. It's pretty funny. And here's like this weird angel flying thing. Oh, thanks for the heart, bro. That looks like a fucking E.T. thing. Here's more of those angry owl things that fly by tapping their feet. I don't even know. There's a pterodactyl. Or skulls. Some Mickey Mouse head wearing thing. Fucking... Here's the end of the level and some fucking big bird wannabe motherfucker is throwing shit at you and you collect it. There's also bad things and if you collect them like the bad things, you will die, so you don't want to do that. You want to collect your gold plates of ass or something. There's also a little time thing flying around. I'm not going to even bother to collect that. You clear area one. Try next area. Good luck!